Chapter 119 Hey, teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I will keep it every step. Give me understanding that I keep your law and observe it with my whole heart. Make me to tread in the path of your commandments, for therein do I delight. Incline my heart unto your testimonies, and not to covetousness. Turn away mine eyes from beholding vanity, and quicken me in your ways. Confirm your word to your servant, which pertaineth unto the fear of you. Turn away my reproach, which I dread, for your ordinances are good. Behold, I have longed after your precepts. Quicken me in your righteousness. All right, let's go back up to verse 33. Today we have we are still in the Psalm 119 or 119. Um, today we are doing He. He is the fifth letter of the Hebrew alphabet. He uh, the and five is always grace, and we, that's what we find in He. We find out it, it's used twice in the holy name of Hashem. Um, and twice because we we have an ability to to witness uh, Hashem, the holy name that the God we can say just for short, but I don't like the word. Teach me, and the uh, our ability to witness uh, is is based really upon our perceptions, our way of looking at things. Uh, we can see that, that God blesses. God also has a a curse. We can call it a curse or a... There's a judgment, and it's a simple thing that if you follow the law, you, you get a good thing, and if you don't, you get a bad thing. It's called a judgment. And it's really just as simple as a... a it's it's a, a reaction to an action or to what we do. There's a recourse or something that comes from it. For every action, there's like a, a reaction. There's an opposite. There's an equal reaction for what we do in life. And basically, this is what it boils down to. And we're going to find that, that the law, the statutes, the ordinances, the, the things that are established in the earth are are very simple and we break it down we can find out it, that it's really the ordinances of the Lord it's the ordinances of Hashem that holy name that he gave us in a beginning it's already inside of you and when you hear these ordinances it should call to remembrance your own understanding that own your own belief that own your own uh, fabric that you have some kind of structure at least it should and if it doesn't, it may be because there's 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 a sleeping spirit that's ready to be awakened just by the laws we find out. Sometimes we get outside the law, we, we can't hear as well as we can while we're in it. We're going to pick it up here in verse 33. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I will keep it every step. Teach me. O Lord, and we, just like I have said in the past, Aleph, he is the teacher. There is no other teacher. He give us the instructions. He give us our tasks, these statutes, to do. And it's really a very simple thing that we he should be our teacher. We shouldn't have another teacher. We shouldn't go around making ourselves idols and calling these gods. These things the other nations do. These things do others do. And we should not be like them because they know not what they do. They don't understand what they're worshiping is the imagination or the understanding of somebody else. That's why they're called images. But teach us, Lord, your ways. And these ways of the Lord are simple. They're his instructions, the commandments, I call them. We can start with number one. It's always the best place to start. And we'll find out keeping them in every step. And every way we go, every way we turn, keep them. And that means to hang on to them. 34, give me understanding that I, that I keep your law and observe it with my whole heart. Give me some understanding. And we find out understanding comes through correction sometimes. 
we get outside the law, God gives us a little correction. His law is like the staff of the shepherd keeping his flock. It's not for correction, but for the for the understanding that, that there's correction with it. There's also the love, the tender mercy of guidance with it. And that's the understanding God wants you to have. It's for your own good, because outside here there are many dangers. We need to observe his law, his understandings, with our whole heart. That's with all our understanding. Not just little pieces and parts which we choose, bending it for the evil, bending it for the not good. But we should, if you're going to bend the law of God, it should always be for good. Never to, to allow you to do something that's outside the law, that's breaking the law. 35. Make me to tread in the path of your commandments, for therein do I delight. Make me to tread in your path, to walk in your path, to go in your understandings. Teach me your commandments, Lord. Teach me your law. Give me your ordinances, even inside of me, so I have full understanding and comprehension of what you want me to do. For that's what I delight in, doing what you have asked me to do. As we always seek to please our Father, because that's who sustains us while we dwell in his house. 36. Incline my heart unto your testimonies, not to covenants. Incline my heart. Give my, lean my heart towards, if there's a balance, put a little more on that side. Uh, of your testimonies, even these witnesses that you showed me in life, having full understanding of these things, I see, I bear witness even of God's testimonies, his judgments, he said in the earth, those things he said he was going to do, the blessing and the cursing, and those of it. Don't set my heart towards covetousness. You should not covet, no covet. God said, don't want things other people have. Don't go around wanting what doesn't belong to you. You should want what I give you, not what others have. 37. Turn away mine eyes from beholding vanity and quicken me in your ways. Turn away my eyes from beholding vanity. I don't want to see all that waste of time, Lord. I'm, we've got work to do. We've got progress to make. Vanity, these... Ways of, of worthlessness, uh, ways that only I have to turn from later to come back to the understanding that I have now. Why would we want to go that way? We would turn away quickly, even all our perceptions. We, we don't even want to think about it. Quicken me. Cause me to live. Quicken is to cause to live it in your ways, in God's ways, in His understandings, in Hashem. In Hashem, that presence of of him in our heart, which is his statutes, his ordinances that he give us. See, we already have them. That's the presence of God. We understand that he give us these laws. 38. Confirm your word unto your servant, which pertaineth unto the fear of you. Confirm it. Confirm your word, this that you've spoken unto your servant. And, and the Lord has confirmed it. The Lord has made it clear we see the witness, we hear the Torah, we hear the instructions, the law, and, and that tells us that, that we, have under, we have enough understanding to follow this. 39, I'll turn away my reproach, which I dread, for your ordinances are good. Turn away my reproach, uh, these things that I may not see so clearly. May, I may not have full comprehension of other things, but of the ordinance where I and I have been convicted, there's full understanding. But we know enough to say that the voice that has steered me from that which is wrong surely will not lead me astray. We understand it's the voice of God, it's his statutes, his ordinances, his his, his precepts, his own thoughts that he give us, these things that God lives by himself. God lives by, God lives, because Hashem does live, even in the personification. Is, even in, he don't have to be there. See, we have his law, it's there, 
and it's it's the same as almost God being there himself. It it goes before the Lord. Forty. Behold, I have longed after your precepts. Quicken me in your righteousness. Behold, uh, in these ways, God knows where we've turned. God knows exactly what we've done. We we there's no way to gather the strength on your own sometimes we have to have a little help and it's here this is like a crutch this is a support god says this is my law i give it to you just in case you might got hurt see you you can hold yourself up with it and i've longed after these precepts uh, your instructions your thoughts your understandings quicken me in your righteousness or cause me to live in your judgments cause me to live in your justice cause me to live in your correctness cause me to live in your law and we find out it's just a very simple thing this whole all the psalm all the whole book of psalms it's all about one thing my friends do the right thing keep the ordinances and statutes of God no man has to tell you what they are you can find them for yourself if you'll only look. Let's continue. We're going to continue with the turn and return.